everyone. If, if you are new in my channel please don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button and the notification bell. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to use technology in the conduct of a survey to find out the following ele elementa to be observed in planting trees mark the fruits famous orchard farm in the country elements to be observed in planting trees and fruit bearing trees planting trees needs considerations and careful study of a variety of factors to ensure high quality results and productivity these factors are necessary for a bountiful harvest the following are factors in planting trees and fruit bearing trees soil soil is significant in planting trees it contains the nutrients and minerals needed by the trees to grow the soil which is composed of inorganic substance with varying amount of the decaying matter is called mineral soil the soil formed from partly decayed plants is known as organic materials sunlight it is a very much necessary for it is the primary energy source in plants food manufacturing Climate, climate is one of the essential factors in tree planting since it affects the growth of trees. A variety of trees has been observed to grow best in certain climate conditions. Whether cold or how hot the atmosphere is at a certain period, the degree of temperature must be considered in planting trees. Rainfall, it is another critical factor in the growth of trees. However, it has to be observed in moderation not to drown the growing trees with water. Fertilizer, it is used to increase the productivity of trees. Of this, there are organic and inorganic fertilizer. Organic fertilizer comes from the compost of decayed materials while inorganic comes from or made up of synthetic materials. Sources of fruit-bearing trees Fruit-bearing trees are available in different size of growth from different sources. Among these are of agriculture, it is created to promote agricultural development and growth, thus making it responsible for propagating high-value fruit-bearing trees. This department gives free fruit-bearing tree seedlings, leaflets and booklets to guide fruit tree growers. It can be found within and outside the cities, to avail high-value fruit tree seedlings that grow fast and bear more fruits than those ordinary fruits trees. Usually, these fruit-bearing trees are products of the new technology in farming. Commercial nursery private individuals who also offer landscaping materials and service. Agricultural institution a school that offers course related to agriculture. Bureau of Plant Industry scientific improvement for plant species present in localities. Choosing appropriate trees to plant to choose the appropriate trees to plant, consider the following. Seeds of fruit trees during summer months, then start growing them in cans so that they are ready to plant by the end of summer. Trees that are indigenous to the locality to allow easy adaptation and to ensure growth choose, choose species of trees that are indeed possessing the qualities of deep-rooted, fast-growing, sturdy against the strong wind, rea stand to pest and diseases, staying green during dry months, and have commercial and economical value. Market demands for fruit the demand for fruits in the local and international markets has increased as people realize the importance of fruits in their diet. People of different ages have become more health conscious nowadays than before. They give much value to good nutrition and promote a good heath by stressing that fruit have a high source of vitamins, minerals and fiber. Now, these is an increasing demand for fruit almost all parts of the country and across the world. This demand for fruit paves the way for the country's fruit industry to contribute to the nation's economy. These are fruit species that lead the volume of production, banana, mango, papaya, durian, jackfruit, lanzones and calamondin. However, the fruits industry faces enormous challenges in providing a safe product at competitive prices. So, the challenge lies in the integration of production and marketing of fruits. Also, to enhance production and marketing, the use of technology can be considered, especially in the expansion of productivity areas wherein there is also an extension of services. Nowadays, both the domestic and export markets are considered primarily with product standard and safety. Thus, the GROWS pursue the application of good agricultural practices and its subsequent product certification. The lack of continuity in fruit research and development activities has to be given attention to meet the demand in production, product safety and reasonable cost. Famous Orchard Farm in the Philippines Rosa Farms, originally called Linoran Farm and it is located in Zambals. 
The property was purchased by David Jackson and Rosa Magsaysay in 1920s. When M.T. Finitubo erupted in 1991, the whole place is buried in ash leaving few surviving mango trees. David and Rose's grandchildren rehabilitated and developed the farm into Mango Orchard. It is not just an ordinary mango orchard but also an agri-tourism destination and venue for corporate events, team building, family outing and recreation. Sivari Grapes Farm owned by Cirillo Sivari located in Barangay Urayong, Bowing, La Union. He started the business in the 1980s to provide for his family. 30 years on, the farm has produced beyond expectations. Rock, Rock Farm located in Staunton Road, Sagata, Mountain Province. The citrus experience and the sight of oranges from Sunkist, Hamlin and Ponkin variety will surely bring fun to families and orange lovers. Strawberry Farm, this strawberry farm is on the town of La Trinidad Benguet, and is owned and maintained by the Benguet State University. This farm is for strawberry cultivation. Pin Mango Seedlings Farm Corporation, this farm is in the border of Candaba, Pampanga and Baliwag, Bulacan. A family-owned operated agricultural enterprise established for environmental preservation through youth education, strengthening of the mango industry by ensuring the constant and sustainable supply of mango products and livelihood enhancement through corporate involvement by promoting mango farming. And that conclude our lesson for today. Thank you and keep safe always.